Festivals are an important part of our lives. They provide us with regular opportunities to celebrate, to feast and to meet up with friends and relatives. Amongst the multitude of festivals taking place in India, the lower Dibang Valley of Arunachal Pradesh celebrates a festival of sacrifice organized annually. Arunachal Pradesh is located in the northeast part of India. Arunachal has its own set of distinct and impressive traditions, festivals and culture. The state is legendary for its natural beauty and simplicity. The Central Ray Celebration Committee organizes the Ray Festival. The festival starts with a formal inauguration by the chief guest. It is one of the most important festivals of the Idus. The Idus believe that they are the children of the Divine Mother Nanye in Yitaya. None can get her blessings unless they perform a puja or celebrate the Ray Festival. This festival is celebrated somewhere during February to August every year depending on the area's climatic conditions. The Ray Festival seeks to bring everyone together to participate in singing, dancing and a whole lot of fun. An Edo family in the small village of Dambuk hosts the Ray Festival this particular year. They invite all their guests from different parts of the country. This festival tends to be so expensive that only a few people can afford it. The festival requires a number of sacrificial mithuns and pigs for offering to the Divine Mother Nanye Nyetaya. Mithun is a kind of wild yak and water buffalo mix which is found in the northeastern part of India. The Ray Festival is celebrated over a period of six days. The auspicious festival begins with a day called Andropu. On this day, the host of the festival and his family offer prayers so that the festival may progress smoothly. It is followed by dances in the night to celebrate the beginning of the festival. Iyamli is the second day of the festival, which is also known as the Sacrifice Day. It is considered to be the most important day of the six. On this day, a large number of mithuns and pigs are sacrificed, which are bought beforehand and tied near the houses. No festival is complete without mithun sacrifice in Arunachal. The severed head of a mithun or a pig is given to close friends and relatives. After the sacrificial ceremony gets over, a big feast is organized to entertain the guests and relatives with rice, meat and unifri. Unifri is a locally made rice beer. The third day of this festival is known as Ili. 
On this day, a massive feast is arranged to entertain guests and relatives. Raw meats as well as cooked food, along with unifree, are gifted to neighboring villagers. A pig catching competition is also organized on this day to keep the guests entertained. After the competition, the pigs are sacrificed and distributed amongst the participants. The next day of this festival is Ilye Romuni. On this day, the priest performs rituals and offers prayers for the wealth, health and all-round prosperity and for the general well-being of the host family of the festival. The fifth day is called Arugo. On this day, even more food and drink are prepared for the feast and distributed amongst neighboring villages. This grand festival ends with a day called Itoanu. On this day, gifts, cash and pigs are given to relatives by the host. This festival calls home the people who are living far away from their community. It provides an opportunity for them to come closer to their loved ones. During these six days, everyone puts aside their differences and distance and everybody comes together to celebrate this festival with pride and joy.